Dad, aren't I? You know, I was wondering, when you and Mum first started going out, what attracted you to her in the first place? Well, I'm not sure I should tell you. Parents should have some secrets from their children. Oh, tell me, please. How did you get together? Well, I think she's fancied me for a while. Then one day she comes to me and she says, Hi, Martin. You want to go out for coffee? She was dressed to the nines. Lipstick, makeup, dress, the works. Makes a fella feel pretty special when a girl does something like that. Lipstick, makeup, great, great. Now, what colour dress was she wearing? Green, I think. Green. Green. Uh, Dad loves me. She loves me now. She loves me. Now, we've got Simpsons toys, a stapler glue and scissors. Yeah. Okay, I'll cut and you glue. Hey kids, make yourself this cool Simpsons lounge-a-rama and get a Simpsons toy with every little red rooster meal. Hello, Sam. Would you like to go for a coffee? Oh, um, sorry. Uh, I'm in the middle of a game. Well, that's okay. I'll wait. Okay. Um, don't you want to get out of that costume first? What costume? That dress is me doing a segment about the weird clothes that people wear. What about the coffee? Hi, kids, and welcome to Babs and Friends. Today on the show, we have a visit from a very special friend. Isn't that right, Mr. Teddy? Oh, yes, I love him too. He's the star of Kids Breakfast, and here he is, Grub! <laughs> oh, look, there he is, Mr. Teddy. Isn't it exciting? Give us a cuddle, Mr. Teddy. Oh. Oh. She's mine, Bear. Get your claws off her. <coughs> Listen here, sunshine. I'll give you one last chance. Forget Babs. All your history. What do you say? Okay. You asked for it. <laughs> we'll be back with more from Grob later. But right now... It's a cartoon! Boys, I just do not understand them. <laughs> You're not alone. They grow up to be men, and then they're just as difficult to understand. It's all right for you, Mum. You saw the man you wanted, and he didn't stop until you got him. What are you talking about? <laughs> Dad told me that when you two first met, you did everything you could to try and attract him. Oh! Well, the way I remember it, the more I ignored him, the harder he tried to get me to go out with him. Treat him mean to keep him keen. Treat him mean to keep him keen. Treat him mean to keep him keen. Hey, Lucy. Well, get lost! Okay. Yeah. Your hair is blonde, your eyes are blue. I reckon you're a spunk rat, too. Not bad, eh? Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, trouble is, I'm not as poetic as you, and if you go on like that, she'll realise you're not me right away. So, uh, we'll stick with plan A. And, Philip, you've got to put the earpiece in the ear. Right, what for? I'd... So I can tell you what to say. Now, stay here. Rodney to Quiggle. Rodney to Quiggle. Come in, Quig. Quiggle receiving. Over. Everything's set for Operation Love Triangle. You tell me what to say? Pass on to Philip. Uh-oh. Target's approaching. Over and out. <sighs> Go for it, Ronaldo. Good luck. Ronaldo? Is that you? Tis I, my sweet. Tis I, my sweet. Tis I, my sweet. It works. It works. What works? Uh, my leg. The one I injured playing polo. It, it works again. It, it's been cured by your love. Uh, see? Ronaldo, you make me feel so special. Come closer. No, Rodney. She'll see the earpiece. Uh, say, 
I dare not. Your beauty will blind my eyes. I dare not. Your beauty will bind my eyes. I dare not. Your beauty will bind my ties. You're nothing like the other guys I know. They only care about my looks. But you and I, we can talk about politics and, and poetry and philosophy. Phil who? Philosophy, you idiot! Philosophy, you idiot! Philosophy, you idiot! What? Uh, oh, Randy, it's not working! Get out of there! I can't! I can't! Can't what? Can't... go on like this. You like poetry, Inga? Listen. You think that I am smart and funny. I think that you are spunky honey. If I leave, you're sure to miss me, so pucker up and prepare to kiss me. I was wrong. You're just like the other guys. Only crueler. Ugh. What's the matter? You said you want me to dump her. She's dumped. I'm so sorry. I've messed it all up. It's okay, Rodney. I've emailed Inga and told her everything. What do you mean everything? Everything, everything. About being an alien, about crash landing here, the lies, there was Ronaldo. Quigo, you did it. I did. And I asked to meet her again so I can beg for her forgiveness. I need you to take me to the park. Quigo, are you insane? What more if she turns you into the authority? If you can't trust the woman who loves you, Rodney, who can you trust? Look sharp, Lucy. Rehearsal in five. Who cares about the rehearsal? I said the worst two days of my life. Have you lost your credit card? No, it wasn't. No, it was this boy at school. No matter how hard I try, I just can't get him to like me. Maybe you're trying too hard. Just be yourself. Be myself. Well, you can't be me, so you're gonna have to settle for second best. Be myself. Grog, you were wonderful on the show yesterday. Oh. Though at the time, I wasn't too sure about the teddy bear thing. Dirty, rotten bear. But from all the calls we got, the kids loved it. Oh. <laughs> it's uh, funny, isn't it, how we get on so well and we've never even seen each other's faces. Faces? Will you show me yours if I show you mine? Uh, well... Uh... <gasps> ah! What is it? I don't need to pretend it is! Grob? You're absolutely sure about this, Quiggle? Not really. But I know in my heart it is the right thing to do. Yeah, well, I guess it's always best to tell the truth. Quiggle? Don't come any closer, my darling. Why not? To your earthling eyes, I will appear twisted and misshapen. I don't want to frighten you. I'm not frightened. I just want to see your face. Uh, slight problem. I don't actually have one. I knew it! You can't bear to look at me! No, I don't care what you look like. I love your mind, your words and your poetry, my dear sweet Quiggle. Mm. Speak not of love, O oh Inga sweet, though we be of different species, in tune our hearts do beat. We must pledge our love then on our separate ways fast when, for my time on this world is drawing to an end. You're not leaving. You can't. I must. I have uh, being recalled by Starship Command. But when the iron beams are burning through my ship's hull and my air supply is running low, I'll be happy because I'll be thinking of you. And whenever I see a octopus or a snail, darling Quiggle, I'll be thinking of you. Farewell, my 
brave alien hero. <sighs> Whoa, Quiggle. That was so cool. If that had been me, I would have been a blubbering mess. <laughs> It was horrible! One moment Bab was talking to me and then the next her head flies off and this thing pops out. It was... Oh, probably being invaded by a parasitic alien life form. Oh. It's much more common than you think. Lucy, yep. someone here to see you. Is that him? Yes. Oh, what am I going to say? I'm Lucy. Um, Marguerite told me this was yours. Um, Luce, I was... Why have you been acting so weird lately? So I'm weird now, am I? Oh, no, no, it's just that before you used to be funny and loud and you didn't... What are you trying to say? Um, would you like to go out with me sometime? What? Oh, just to a movie or, um, something. Oh, sure. I guess that... That'd be great. <laughs> oh, cool. When? Well, what's wrong with right now? Uh, I'll just be a moment. Okay. What are you waiting for? Go! Well, uh, what movie do you want to see? Where's it on? What time? Because, Sam, this isn't going to work if I have to think of everything. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> That's the Lucy that I like. 